And we back! The Denver Nuggets just took care of the Lakers in four. In four games, a complete sweep. They even got LeBron talking about he might even retire. But today, I'm taking control and doing what Rob Palenka ain't been able to do since 2020 and helping the Lakers win a championship before LeBron retires. So a lot of different ways this team could go, and I got a vision. And I need to make sure it's a reality. Leave a like and subscribe. But before we even get into that, I gotta let you know that it is time for the drop of the year, the collaboration of the year. It is the Enjoy Basketball brand. And the Icy brand. Like, come on, bro. Is this not the coolest basketball you've ever seen? Enjoy Icy. Enjoy X Icy. And you even got my Siggy down here. These are currently on sale. We got this ball. We got the Icy Cup, which I, I wish I had something in here. But I just want to showcase the, the, the mascot has our banner. It says enjoy. And then the straw has this basketball on it. It's, it's a tough drop. We got these two items. And we also have some merch. We got this one where you got this little on the side and then on the back. Can you see it? And then we also have a hoodie and all of that is on sale right now. And just like every Enjoy Basketball drop, it is extremely limited. So get in while you can before it is completely gone. Like, come on, bro. This basketball is so very dope, man. I, it, don't get, it don't get better than this. Hit the link in the description. Go ahead and order you some stuff. And then let me know what you do. Tweet at me. Hit me up on the gram or something. Just let me know you was there. For, for the for the collaboration. Hopefully the first one of many. Shout out to Icy Brand. Check it out. So on this roster right now, we have LeBron James at the age of 38. And then we got Anthony Davis at the age of 30. And then after that, the only other person with a guaranteed contract is Gary Vanderbilt, who has one year $4.7 million, which is a good contract for him. And then we also have Max Christie, 20-year-old rookie from Michigan State. Yep, Michigan State. Everybody else is a free agent right now. Austin Reeves is a free agent. One of my priorities is bringing Austin Reeves back to the city of... The city of... Los Angeles is a city of what? City of Angels? Huh. I had that in mind. But I was thinking like Anaheim Angels, which is some old baseball. So anyway, um, but the, I, I do want to say that if we don't bring none of these dudes back, don't bring D'Angelo Russell, don't bring back Mo Bamba, Dennis Schroeder, yada, yada, yada. We're going to have like $34 million in cap space, which I'm excited about because there is a dude who helped LeBron win a championship back in the day named Mr. Kyrie Irving that I would be interested to bring to the team. Now, that will be putting up a lot of money for just three players, but I feel like we could get away with it, especially if we also have the cap hold on Austin Reeves. So we can have a potential lineup of, of Kyrie Irving, Austin Reeves, LeBron, Power Ford to be named later, and, and Anthony Davis, and then we fill out the rest of the roster with um, mid-level exception minimum guys. But then we also have to bring back Austin Reeves. We still do have Jared Vanderbilt, and but he's not completely safe. I'm be honest with you. I know he's on a smaller contract, and Vando's really good. Sometimes he's unplayable. We saw some of that in the playoffs right now. But, um, yeah, he's been on a lot of different teams for the fact that he's he's very good and he's typically cheap. So he gets traded a lot. We also have the 17th overall pick in this year's draft, which I'm interested to use. Now, I think in real life there might be a world that it gets traded away. But I'm going to use it in this draft, first of all, with the idea to maybe trade it before the season even starts. But I do want to use it. Oh, School Henderson just went one, by the way. Uh, that, that lets you know what type of uh, league we in right now. It's a fantasy world. And with that being said, I do want to say this is not a realistic rebuild. Everything that I do in this video is just because I think it'll be fun and cool. Um, and it's not a real layout that Rob Palinka can can try to do in real life. Cool. Uh, we actually got a couple really nice people left on the board. Uh, Jalen Hush Shafino is one of them dudes. Jeff Howard is another. Kaysen Wallace sitting at 17 now. I'm be honest with you, Casey Wallace is my favorite player in this upcoming draft, mostly because he was so very cool. We met him. He hit me back with a follow on Instagram, and th that was before I knew who he was, really. And then I watched some footage, and I was like, oh, yeah. So, you know what? I'm drafting Casey Wallace because he's, he's my friend at this point. He's my friend, all right? Was he the best player available for what we're trying to do? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, Victor Wimanyama just fell to, to number two. What world are we in right now? So, I'm going to let all of these dudes walk. Well, that's dead. Uh, Kyrie Irving is not coming to, 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 to Los Angeles unless um, this is a double sign and trade uh, unless this is a double sign and trade where we sign D'Angelo Russell back and then we throw Kaysen Wallace and then we throw Jared Vanderbilt into the, the trade as well. Uh, that's like the only way because we got 30 plus million dollars in contracts. But if you look. We can afford Miles Bridges or Draymond Green. No, if we're not doing it. Even though Draymond would love to come to this team. He's going back to the Warriors, it looks like. Man, that makes things so tough. I mean, low-key, a guy like Rick Lopez would be interesting because he stresses the floor and Anthony Davis don't have to play center. 
but I might try to do a double sign and trade and think to the the Dallas Mavericks like hey y'all could get more depth because we giving you quality pieces that can help you right now Jared Vanderbilt can come in and play big minutes for you and then you can move D'Angelo Russell Luka Doncic to the two Mavs fans has it sounded to you are you interested probably not but I'm gonna try my hardest to make it happen so D'Angelo Russell, whew, a lot of money for D'Angelo Russell. Um, so we're going to renounce the rights of Wynyard Gabriel, Troy Brown Jr., Cole Swinder, and Scottie Pippen Jr. We're going to keep the bird rights on Dennis Schroeder and Austin Reeves right now as we try to get um, him back on the team. Kyrie went back to the Mavs on a big old contract. So let's try our hardest to make this work. Again, I don't think it will, but I'd be crazy not to try it. Wow. The contracts work almost per Wait, that's not... That's kind of... The contracts don't work anymore. We got to make up nine million. Oh man, yeah, we don't have that. We don't, we don't have that. So the fact that he signed a forty-four million dollar contract just messed us up. And Kyrie Irving is not coming to the city of Angels. Instead, we have to convince ourselves to try to go use this same package to go get somebody else because Casey Wallace is basically a top ten pick. You know what I'm saying? I think he's gonna get drafted in the top ten. Um, in the upcoming draft. I, I did see a rumor about Trey Young being on the radar. Woohoo! Can we? Yeah, I said we're not living in a world of realism. This will be the cherry on top to make that a reality. That we are not living in a world of realism if Trey Young is the guy that we potentially trade for. I'm going to keep looking. That whoever we trade for has to be making about $40 million or less. Keep that in mind. They also have to be interested in D'Angelo Russell or be interested in hitting a small little reset. You know what I'm saying? Trading a good player now for Kaysen Wallace, who's a good player in the future. Um, and that's where things get really tough. Because I have no idea. Man, the f if he was making $4 million less than this, that's a deal. We would be able to get away with this. Because we can afford to trade for Luka as far as contractually goes. You know what I'm saying? So if I put Luka Doncic here, they say yay. Obviously, they say no. Um, so it's making me think, like, should we use some more money to... Do we have the bird rights on anybody else? Nope. We're not living in a world of realism. Keep that keep that in mind because I'm going to try to trade Young Deal. The, they say no because they think they're a championship contender. We can't give up that pick or this pick, so we can give you a second. Uh, Trey Young is not coming to the team either. So I brought back D'Angelo Russell with the idea of flipping him for something else, and it looks like we might be stuck unless um, a young Hollywood, Zach Levine, wants to go back to Los Angeles. And when I say go back... He played college at UCLA. That's what I mean. Um, young Hollywood on, on LA. He, I will be honest with you. This is coming from a Chicago Bulls fan that loves Zach Levine. I've seen a lot of photoshops of Zach Levine and Lakers gear. He always looks really good in that that those colors. Um, I think most people do. Those colors are clean. But, but that that would be a this would be kind of a lot. Once you think, I might be able to keep Casey Wallace. I may be able to keep Casey Wallace low key. Um, Zach Levine is a guy on our priority list. Again, I'm gonna look around the league one more time. Zach Levine. I'm going to try to keep Kaysen on the team. Oh, we have to throw Kaysen in. Can I give you Max Christie? Nope. They have to take Kaysen. And now I feel like I'm giving up too much. Now I feel like I'm giving up too much. Because overall wise, they're going to... Can I snag an extra player like... Uh, okay, Dalen Terry's $3 million is too much. What if we get a draft pick in return? I'm going to ask for, for, for a draft pick. Um, oof, that Portland pick is pretty good, huh? Uh, young Hollywood, he's only 28 years old. We, you know, LeBron would tire. You can have, you know, Anthony Davis, who's the beginning of his 30s, and Zach Levine at the end of his 20s, and that can be the next pairing for the next decade or so. Uh, because I think you look at DeMar DeRozan, who's really good too. He's 33, and he's on the last of his deal. Young Hollywood, come to Chicago, baby. Come to Chicago, baby. I tried to get the first round picks. It wasn't happening. Okay, we have a three-player roster. I'm sorry. So no disrespect to Max Christie. We have a four-player roster with not a lot of money. Um, so that's fun. So everybody's um, playing down right now because um, team chemistry is not good. I'm making LeBron the starting point guard officially in the last couple years of his career um, because we didn't have the money to sign a real point guard. So LeBron, you know, we know you can't do it. You've definitely played that position before. So it's, it's LeBron, Zach Levine with... Austin Reeves at the two, Zach Levine at the three is how we're going to run it. Um, Jay Crowder, who we signed with our mid-level, Mr. 99, him and LeBron James have had their battles, and they've butted heads a few times. But, hey, he can hoop, at least I think. We'll, we're going to find out. Anthony Davis, we brought back Lonnie. New Orleans Noel is getting minutes. Isaiah Roby is getting minutes. David Nawal is getting minutes. Uh, we are a thin team. 
But the good thing about it all is that, like, uh, even though we love Lonnie Walker around here after what he did in the playoffs in the Warrior series, uh, we signed him for a few, I think like $6 million a year, $6 million a year for two years. So we got $12 million there. Oh, I'm sorry, $6 million there if we wanted to upgrade. Um, and we got to hope uh, that, I wish the buyout market, oh, we got Uncle Jeff too, who's not very good anymore. Um, I wish the buyout market was a real thing in the game of 2K because this is the type of team that will be heavy on the buyout market with Bron in one of his last seasons and they got a potential three all-star lineup in Austin Reeves, so four-star all-star lineup. This would be a team that would be heavy on the buyout market, but the buyout market doesn't exist. First game of the season, we lose by a billion points to the cross, um, the hallway team. That's and Then we lose by four. Okay. Um, I think that's mostly because our chemistry is low. Wait till the chemistry starts getting together. LeBron, there you go, Bron. Bron, whenever you switch Bron to a point guard, he starts to put up ridiculous numbers. He might win an, an MVP or something um, at the age of 40. If things go perfectly, Jay Crowd is already ice cold, by the way. Uh, he's averaging one point per game through the first three games. So uh, another guy that's not safe. Well, we, we, <laughs> we'd be very willing to move him to the next. Oh, man, this is not the start you wanted. Where's Anthony? What, what is this? Can, what is your shot, Tennessee? It's got to be in the 90s, right? It is oh, not in the 90s. I'm going to raise it, bro. I need, I need him to showcase why he's, he's supposed to be the dude. He's supposed to be the dude now. Go, go show us why we paid you all of that money and why we're supposed to be believing in you. To, oh, David Nwab is injured. Why are we supposed to be believing in you to be the the, the torch, torch taker? That's supposed to be you. And, yeah, I'm making sure LeBron get a lot of minutes early in the season. Right now, we won in four. One in five. <laughs> Holy crap. Hold on, hold on. Brother, we might have to make some trades right now. Okay, there's a win uh, against Victor Wibanyama where Zach Levine did the thing. He's only averaging 28. He can't shoot anymore the first three weeks we got a lot of people playing down and that's not good but then also there you go it's a point in the right direction because do you think zach levine is gonna shoot 30 percent from three all season he ain't shot 30 percent from three ever so he's gonna get better with time anthony davis is averaging 20 you think he gonna average 20 all season long no lebron james is averaging almost a triple double lebron doing his part but like lonnie walker's averaging 12 off the bench which is cool austin reeves averaging 18 he's doing his part I think this is where we're losing stuff, where Jay Crowder is shooting 30% from the field, and then we got no bench production outside of Lonnie Walker. So is there somebody in free agency that we can pick up? Oh, Melo hasn't retired in this universe. Melo, I swear, just say yes. He declined the offer. Okay, Melo. There's got to be somebody else out here that I'm like, oh, yeah, he can play a little bit for us. Josh Richardson can play for us. Josh Richardson can play. For the savior of the Lakers season is here. No more Hal Neto, even though he's playing well i guess no more how netto get or maybe some more than how netto maybe no 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 more how netto josh richardson come to the team and be good please the josh richardson revenge game because he used to play for them did he do something did he do something no he only played three minutes did i not give him real minutes what the three minutes he got injured <laughs> oh my god how unlucky can i get when we sign this man and then he gets injured immediately. Three minutes, and that's a hairline fracture in his finger for one to two weeks. But still, gang, that's crazy. He played three minutes. Oh, this is my shot to get back in the league. I played three minutes and break my finger. Is there somebody else? <laughs> and Ty Jerome had some moments with the with the Warriors a few seasons ago. Kata Bates Diop had a good year and with the Spurs. I don't know. Next game gets the Kings. They ain't playing too hot either. We need to take advantage of these other teams that's not playing good. That is another 30-ish point win, 40-point win, whatever you want to call it. So that's that makes me feel a little bit better. Austin Reeves is really him. I know he told us that in that Memphis series, but, like, he's averaging almost 20 points per game. He's had a 9 three-pointer game. It ain't Bron. It ain't AD. It ain't Zach Levine. It's Austin Reeves. I need a good five-game win streak before I feel good about things. Is this three? Oh, man, we blowing people out all of a sudden. Uh, Giannis had 15 points. 20-point win, 100-point win, and 100-point win. We're, we're getting on track, and the team chemistry is up to a 50. We get it on track. We beat up all, all, all these teams, bro. The Bucks, the Bucks are good. Look look at this. Um, Mavericks, bad. Kings, bad. Bucks, bad. Uh, Rockets, bad. Beat up on all the bad teams, and then we go against a team that is solid. Let's see how we fare. Uh, there's going to be something. I don't know why that keeps... Hey, win! Is that a five-gamer? That's a five-gamer. Okay. All right, so we're above 500 for the first time. I think as long as we stay outside of the plan, we feel good. Because at the deadline, I do plan on moving Jay Crowder because he sucks, apparently. 
And then we also have um, Lonnie Walker if we need it. But he's playing so well, maybe we don't move him. We'll see what happens. I'm not showing you our record just yet. Uh, I'm not showing you our record just yet. This team is selling. And Cam Johnson can run our power for any time of the day. He got a three-year deal, and it's only worth $30 million. Uh, he needs to fire his agent because he should be getting paid a little bit more than that. We will take him here in L.A. He's averaging 12 points per game. Of course, he's an amazing three-point shooter. They're selling. We'd be buying on that. Next. What other team is selling or rebuilding? This team is selling or rebuilding. They got nothing that we really want. Uh, rebuild a team that's a three seed. Shout out to the Pistons. They drafted well with Cam Whitmore. And just like that, Kay Cunningham is coming off the bench because Chris Paul is in town. Wow. Um, glad I noticed that. We also see that the Rockets are selling. They used some money to get Spencer Dinwiddie or traded for Spencer Dinwiddie. We, we aren't really interested. Um, here are the rebuilding Spurs who picked up uh, School Henderson over Victor Wimbiami. He's having a great rookie season. They traded or signed Jeremy Grant. That didn't really help them out. Selling Washington Wizards. They have uh, Daniel Gafford potentially if we want to move AD back over to the four. I don't love that idea anymore, but I guess it's possible. I'll add them to the list. Bucks suck, but they're buying. They said, hey, we need to keep Giannis happy. They don't have anything that I would want. The Bulls are selling. Um, D'Angelo Russell is not helping them as much as they thought, maybe. Uh, I could have told them that before the trade, that he wasn't going to do that. But hey, <laughs> Vanderbilt is Vanderbilt a trade option player? He's averaging 13 and 10. Do you bring him back? Can you imagine? Flippers are also selling. They got Al Horford on $10 million a year. He's not scoring the ball a lot, but he's efficient when he's doing it. Um, he's also coming off the bench. So if you look at his per 36, he looks good. He's older, but he's still a quality player. $10 million a year. I'll add Big Al to the lineup or to the list. We'll see if he fits what we want to do. Jazz are also selling. Now, they don't really have much because um, they're not going to give me the young player Oche Abaji, and they just got a bunch of nothingness. The Kings also selling. They have Jordan Clarkson, but he's making fifth, $14 million a year. We can't match that. Malik Monk coming back to L.A. would be kind of a cool storyline. I'll add him to my list. Uh, then you got the Knicks rebuilding, and there we are. We're two games over 500, which is not terrible. It's not terrible, uh, but of course you want to be way better than that. As of right now, we'd be a playing team. Not ideal. Luckily for us, we're one game away from not being that with more like less than half of the season to go. So we got a lot of time. I am interested in Cam Thomas, Cam Johnson first. I think I think he adds another element of shooting with LeBron. Um, so we would be giving them. Whew, how do we make up that 10? We got Jay Crowder here. We still got to make a five with Jay Crowder. Dang. And what is Josh Richardson doing? Are, have you become a positive player after that injury? Yes, 44% three-point shooter. Josh Richardson, he's beautiful for us. Lonnie Walker's actually too good to trade in a trade like this. So if we're going to trade Lonnie, we need somebody that's making or doing more than what Cam is doing. Because Lonnie is our bench at this point. He is all of the bench. I'm sorry, not all of it because Josh Richardson is here. But if we can convince ourselves that Cam can help us in that starting lineup, and then we can get somebody from the bench that's making some crazy low number um, with some second-round picks, then maybe... But that's a hard, hard sell. I don't think this is the trade worth doing. So I'm going to move past it right now. Okay. All right. I'm going to turn this into a pseudo three-team trade. We're going to trade for Cam Johnson and Matisse Thybul. We don't really want Matisse Thybul, even though he's an amazing defender. Um, we're not really interested in that. So our new star lineup will look like this, which I think is really cool. Our bench is not very good, but that's where we're going to move Matisse. Because right now, actually, Matisse is shooting it really well. Now, he don't attempt a lot because he's making two, um, averaging two points per game. But in whatever amount of threes that he's attempted, he's been hitting them. So that's pretty cool. Still don't have a place on my team because I don't trust that come playoff time. So we, we're going to move him to his third team. Um, and he's making $5 million. So we got to look for a player that's making $5 million that will potentially want a guy like Matisse Thibault. That could be a team that's buying or a team that's selling or rebuilding. He's only 26 years old and he got the defensive pedigree. So we can find whatever team that is. I'm going to try my hardest to steal Cole Anthony. Um, the, the magic draft that I'm in Thompson. So you can make a, a case. Don't think we'll Austin Reeves. Cut it out. You can make it a make a case that Cole Anthony is the odd man out. They really want Austin Reeves. That's obviously not happening. Cole Anthony's not coming to the team. I can't trade any of these picks because of the stifling rule. So I thought there was a world where Cole Anthony was the guy. He's not. We somehow snag Sadiq Bay. Uh, this year's average of 15 points per game. Amazing shooter splits. The best shooter splits you can ask for. They believe they're a championship quality team. Uh, now, they are playing well, so I can't be mad at it, but I thought we could snag. I'm going to try to trade for Bones Highland. Um, just 
bring your stuff to the other locker room, Mr. Mr. Bones. 15 mil up, uh, 15 mil, 15 points per game, shooting it very well. They're a selling team, so I'm hoping um, that we'll be able to walk out of here with, with close to no damage done by throwing in a bunch of second round picks. They want Moutier, deal, Bones, welcome to the team. That's a huge pickup. And we still have a world where we could throw Matisse Steibel to his third team. But at this point, do we need? Oh, we actually don't have any backup center with Anthony Davis. That's actually something we got to take care of. That's something we got to take care of, care of uh, ASAP because we don't know when Anthony Davis's knees are going to get out, give out or something. So, yeah, Matisse, I was going to say maybe you could stay on the team. Nope. I got to find a cheap center that's making about $5 million. Um, that's also maybe not as valuable to his current team that he will be for us. I have a guy. He's the third center on his team. I think um, actually he's the first center because Mitchell Robinson is gone. This is a, uh, a rebuilding team. They got to make up about $2 million. So you, you could give us back Peyton Watson. Um, and then we'll give you back a player to be named Max Christie. This this should work. Uh, they want Jason Preston. There, okay. There's the three team trade. The Knicks. Uh, who did we trade? What originally? The Knicks, the Brooklyn Nets, and the LA Lakers. There we go. And now our new lineup is LeBron, Austin Reeves, Zach Levine, who's wearing the number twenty, Cam Johnson, who's tired right now. And then Anthony Davis. And off the bench, we have Bones Highland, Jericho Sims, Josh Richardson. And hey, Jetty Osmond and LeBron are back together. And, and um, our guy Zero Roby's playing up right now. He probably, we're going to take those minutes away from playoff time. Is this the championship team? Well, we got to get out of the play-in to start off with. So first game under these new changes is a two-point win. All right, Anthony Davis with a 20-rebound game. We love that. Jericho Sims is not going to score the ball, but he's going to get some blocks. He's going to get some rebounds and stuff. We did a nice little streak right here to make me feel good going into this deadline. That's a, a current four-game streak, five-game streak. Okay, we also just had an injury. Is that a big injury, a small injury? We don't know. And I'm not checking because it's going to kill my mood if it's LeBron or Anthony Davis. So, we are, okay, okay, we'll check, we'll check. Who is it? None of our top guys. Us, uh, nobody. Oh, okay, we chilling. We're going to see y'all at the end of the season. We have already jumped our way out of the play -in, but We got to hold this, and we got the potential to get all the way up to the four seed. Yo, kids get MVP number three. Uh, Victor still does his thing. He averages 20 and 12. Jordan Poole wins six man of the year. Nicholas Claxton wins DPOY. Jalen Durham wins most improved player. And Quinn Snyder wins coach of the year. Yeah, we tried to steal away Quinn, um, Sadiq Bey. They're playing that good. They're like, bro, what is he talking about? Um, did LeBron make an All-NBA team? Not the first team. Not the second team. Or the third team. Wimby's there, though. Where, where's, the, where's the LeBron respect? Where is the LeBron respect? Oh, there he, oh, he's on the defensive team at the age of almost 40. Whoa, wasn't LeBron averaging some crazy numbers last time we checked? He only averaged 20, 29, and 7. I mean, he is old and stuff, but dang, I did not see that coming. Now, we said we could get as high as the 8 or the 4 seed, and we did exactly that, uh, which is dope. Let's see, Lakers fans, what do we average? Zach Levine led us a score. Anthony Davis only averaged 20. I guess, Anthony. I, I guess. I, I'm so past it. Austin Reeves, Austin, Reeves? Austin Reeves averaged 18 points per game. Um, would love to see that. The assist number go up a little bit more, but he was in attack mode all season long. And then we got Cam, who three point percent has dropped a little bit, but he's still well above average. Josh Richardson, I mean, what a pickup! Six, Forty-six percent from the field, almost forty percent from three in his limited minutes. We're excited to see what he can help us do. Um, and then, man, Isaiah Roby averaged seven points per game. Huh? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. And then Jetty, Jetty Osman um, did his thing as well. But I, I know we said Roby, you played really well, but come playoff time. Uh, do I take your minutes or do I take David Nwaba's minutes? David Nwaba's minutes is gone. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, oh, Anthony Davis was injured and he's back. Oh my God. Um, how many games did, did he miss? I, I didn't even peep. Luckily, I looked because I would have just started simulating and not noticed that he was back from his injury. He played a total of three, seven games. Is that why our, 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 whoa. I don't know what injury he had. 30, did he have an injury early and I forgot to add him? And we were just playing the whole time. With no, because at the deadline, I normalized the minutes. So, no. He just got injured. A bunch. Let it not happen in the playoffs, G. Uh, we're going against the Grizz. We beat them last year in the playoffs, so maybe we'll be able to do it again. They have the same roster, but now they got Tillman starting um, over Steven Adams. I, I, maybe Steven Adams is not there. Let's see. Game one of the series is a Laker win. Steven Adams is still on the roster. They also got TJ McConnell now. Um, we're not afraid of this team whatsoever. 2-0 us. 3-0 us. Yeah, yeah. This team, I'm not going to say they didn't stand a chance, but we're a superior team. 
Whoa, the one seeded Denver Nuggets get eliminated by Devin Booker and uh, the Kevin Durant. The rest of their team looks scary as far as like for them, the not good. But they got Mitchell Robinson, Ayo Dasumu. Okay, Mitchell Robinson, Ayo Dasumu are good pickups, and they got a rookie at a small four position guarding Zach Levine. Um, this looks like a matchup we should be able to win, but let's not underestimate the eight seed. They beat the one seed, yeah. Yeah, let's not underestimate the eight seed. They beat the one seed. Let's give it one more game before we potentially make adjustments. Okay, we win the second game. Uh, we need to win this game to take back home court advantage. We do that. We go a three one. Thank you, Bron and company. And we go against the Warriors again. They're the sixth seed. We're the fourth seed. They got Nick Richards as the new starting center. Um, no Draymond. Even I think Draymond resigned. He just regressed, so he's not starting. Kevon Looney is probably still on the roster. So this is a good, deep team. They only won 45 games. Maybe it was because of injuries or whatever. But so far in the playoffs, they've been able to do what they what they wanted. Um, and they're in the conference finals. Game one is a Laker win. Let's see who else is on the team. Poole just won six-man of the year. Yep. Um, Looney and Hachimura's potential revenge. Oh, Draymond is gone, by the way. Hachi Moro's Potential Revenge Series, man. Yeah, we would have loved to keep you around, but, like, we had to do what we had to do, Rui. And you were good for us, but we had to do what we had to do. Game one is a win for the Lake Show. Game two, we see them do their thing. Again, they're a good team. We didn't expect to sweep them. But I, I can expect five, right? I can expect five, right? Us versus Trey Young and company. We tried to trade for Trey Young earlier. We tried to trade for Sadiq Bey earlier. None of those happened. And here they are seeing us in the NBA Finals. Um, Trey Young versus LeBron. Le Trey Young has to guard LeBron based on these matchups. I like my chances LeBron being guarded by Trey Young. Um, we actually, Anthony Davis is injured. Did, no, he's not. See, what is happening? Why is Anthony Davis, did he, did he not play? Hold on. Did he not play at the end of the series? Did he have like a sprained ankle or something? Yeah, he didn't play this game. Did he, game one? He didn't. Did we just play this whole series without Anthony Davis? When was the last time AD hooped? So he hooped in the Sun series. Um, game two he played. Game three he played. Game four he played. And game five he played. But yet, if game one against the Warriors, Davis is not there. Game two he's not there. We just beat the Warriors without Anthony Davis in the lineup. I don't know what's happening, but he's back. And we lost game one. Anthony! Like, maybe it's better he's not. What is this? That is a ridiculous performance from our all-NBA type of dude. Okay, that's better. He got to the free throw line a bunch, but why? I don't know. Um, they, they got the aggression on Anthony Davis at an all-time low. We're down 2-1, by the way, and it's the NBA Finals. So, how Neto, thank you. Josh Richardson is playing down right now. Thank you for your minutes. Um, is is ugh, Jetty, I could give you a little bit more, I guess. We need Braun, Zach Levine, and the uh, superstar Austin Reeves to play more minutes. And then Anthony Davis needs to up his aggression. Game four? Game four? Oh, we don't need some cast. Game four is a win for the Lakers. Tie the series up. Thank you, AD. Thank you, Braun. Thank you, Austin Reeves. Zach Levine. Oh, I was about to say he was struggling, but nope. He's having a good year. Uh, Playoff-wise, he's doing good. Just keep it up. Game five is a win. We're one. Dang. They had one player put up double-digit points, and it was, it was Trey Young. Um, and I do not see DeJounte Murray in the lineup anymore. But wait, 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 wait. I, is this game bug? Did he not just play this game? He didn't play this game. Um, am I going to complain? Absolutely not. 29-19-9 for almost 40-year-old Braun in that must-win game. And we win the series. LeBron gets number five. And he also wins finals MVP behind a triple-double in the elimination game. Anthony Davis upped his aggression and ended up with 34-17. Zach Levine ended up with 36-6 and six in good shooting splits. And we did it. We did it. Is Bron going to retire? He's not. I am, though. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Uh, we got that Lake Show another one. And he say, let's run it back. And I don't blame him. We got the makings of running this team completely back. I ain't doing it, though. I'm, I'm going to take my dubs with one. And I'll see y'all tomorrow.